today I want to talk about my favorite biblical concept. It's a concept of teaching of grace. It's my favorite because I've had such a great difficulty understanding it and accepting it. But once I did, it's been so relieving to me. I want to compare and contrast mercy and grace for a moment. Mercy is not receiving what you should receive. That is, not receiving God's wrath, but in his mercy, he doesn't give us his wrath. On the other hand, grace is receiving what we don't deserve. So mercy is not receiving what we deserve. Grace is receiving what we don't deserve. Some people have defined it as unmerited favor. And that's a fine definition. Something we don't merit, something we don't deserve, and we get. But I did a study of this word. It's charis, from which we get charisma and charismatic. And I looked at this word found over 100 times in the New Testament. And I came up with my own definition of this term. My definition is that grace is the acceptance of God's gifts demonstrated through thanksgiving living. The acceptance of God's gifts demonstrated through thanksgiving living. Why did I define it that way? This word charis, grace, is also translated gift, and it's also translated to be thankful or to rejoice. So I found there's two sides of the coin of grace. On the one hand, receiving God's gifts, the gift of life, the gift of eternal life, the gift of the Holy Spirit, uh, the, the gift of the church, the gift of heaven, all these things that God has given us and, and more than I've mentioned, that grace is the acceptance of those gifts given to us because of his mercy and because of what Jesus did in justifying us on the cross, dying for our sins and resurrecting. But the flip side of this is that we demonstrate it through thanksgiving living. Now we live out our faith in a way because we're thankful of what God has given us. Because of the grace he's given us, given us what we don't deserve, we now are living thankful life. So we are to live in such a way to demonstrate we're thankful to him. And that's why we do good works. Good works don't save us. Good works are the results of having been saved. We've been saved through grace by faith. And as a result of these, we do good works so that it can be seen that we are thankful to God for what he has done. And so today I hope that you will grab onto this concept of grace and know that God is on the one hand, not gonna give you what you deserve because of Jesus, and he's gonna give you what you don't deserve, and that is uh, all the wonderful things that he's blessed us with. And so you've been saved by grace through faith. What a great gift. Let's live thankful lives.